Uh, my friends, buckle up as we dive into the cosmic waves of today's tenure portion. A mystical journey for the second day of Shvat. Imagine the soul as a spiritual athlete flexing its muscles in the gym of divine service. Today, we're spotlighting those righteous heavy lifters and the intermediate weight trainers. Now, picture this. The righteous one, the tzaddik, who's like that friend who strolls into the gym and lifts without breaking a sweat. They're the tzaddik because they've got their spiritual survival kit on lock. But then there's the one who's working it, grinding through the sets, pushing past their limits. That's the servant of Hashim, my friend. They're not just doing the reps. They're doing the extra one for good measure, going for that 101st rep that truly tests the soul's metal. And why do we push for that 101st time? It's not just to get those spiritual gains or to flex our devotion. It's because we're driven by love or maybe fear, but ideally love. I mean, let's be real. Who wouldn't want to swap that seven-layer cake obsession for a slice of divine love? And how do we get there? Meditation and contemplation, my dear listeners. It's a spiritual cardio that transforms our cravings from the sugar rush of worldly delights to the eternal sweetness of the Almighty's embrace. So as we contemplate today's tenure, let's lace up our spiritual sneakers, hit the treadmill of thought, and jog towards becoming righteous dudes and dudettes, running not from but towards the love of the one above. Get your soul in shape. It's a marathon, not a sprint, and every step counts. 